day in the first part of the gospel, uh, it speaks of Jesus knowing that he would die a terrible death and suffer, but that he would rise again. That's amazing how he managed to just keep doing what he was doing and not worry about it, knowing that he was going to be crucified. If I was in his shoes, for sure, I would be freaking out about how I was going to suffer and die on the cross. So how did Jesus manage to keep his cool and be okay with everything that was going to happen? The key was that he lived in the moment. He didn't worry about the past or the future. But we as people tend to obsess about the past, about things that we should have done or people that hurt us or mistakes that we've made that we shouldn't have done. And in doing that, we miss the present. We can't bring the past back. What's done is done. What we can do is focus on the here and now. But we also tend to worry about the future and try and think of what's going to happen if I lose my job or what happens if my wife dies or what happens if my daughter moves away. We worry about all of these things that haven't even happened yet and we don't know that they will. And it doesn't matter whether it's things in the past or things in the future. If we're looking at those, we're missing the present and what God is giving us right now and that what we should be seizing and taking advantage of. People who live in the moment and live in the present tend to recognize God's wonderful gifts right now in this moment. For example, I could see a beautiful bouquet of flowers or I could be eating some soup and realize how good the soup is or the food. Or I could be talking to a friend of mine and really enjoy that in the moment. However, if I'm thinking about something that happened in the past or something that might happen, I would overlook the beauty of the flowers, the goodness of the food, and I wouldn't enjoy chatting with my friend. So, yes, sometimes living in the present isn't as enjoyable. For example, we have things we have to get done or we have to go to a funeral or we have to go to a difficult meeting. But we live in the present and that God permits us to do that and that we can trust him to get us through it. And living in the present, we can understand and see God's work and his miracles and where he's going to lead us and know that he will take care of us and we have to trust him and trust that we are in his hands, that he will continue to help us see more and more wonders and appreciate more of his love. Yes, I know it's hard, but we can practice doing it. So if you catch yourself obsessing about something that's happened in the past or worrying about something you can't even know what's going to happen in the future, bring yourself back to the present. Yes, it's important we learn about our mistakes because it helps us change our behavior in the present, but it's also important that we should prepare for the future. But we can't throw so much energy into that past or preparing for the future because only God can control all of that. Thank you. God bless you.